G'day. You can either identify a need in the market or you can find a market that needs you. Now that little pearl of wisdom I've picked up from this book that I'm reading called Thought Leaders Practice. I'll put a link to that in the comments below because I think it's particularly useful for those people that have maybe lost their job as a result of this current crisis and they now find themselves as an independent consultant or a, like a solo practitioner where all that you really have now to be able to generate a revenue and an income stream is your own individual skills and experience. Because what we often try and do is say, let's go and find a gap in the market. Let's identify a need in the market and then let's craft a solution to satisfy that need. Now that works okay with products, but when it comes to services and when that services is around you as an individual, what you find yourself trying to do is force your square peg into that round hole because you may not have everything that you need to necessarily satisfy that particular market need or market want. But if you take a different approach and say to yourself, well, here's all the things that I can bring to the table. Now let me identify individual markets that actually have a need for what I have to offer. And so you're not just pigeonholing yourself into one specific area, an industry or a particular market. You're saying this particular skill that I have, this particular experience that I have, could be applicable in the hotel business, maybe in the spa business, maybe in retail business, maybe in a branding or a marketing sense. The skills that you have will apply to multiple markets. So when you flip the equation a little bit and start saying to yourself, here's me, here's what I have to offer. Now let me find the market that I can just slot neatly into. In the long run, there's actually a hell of a lot less work involved in that than trying to force yourself to be the exact same thing that the individual market needs, if that makes sense. It's a great point, I think, again, for a lot of people who now find themselves on their own trying to find a way to generate income as an individual, I think it's valuable advice. Don't necessarily look for a market need, just find a market that needs what you have to offer. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow when remember, I will be doing what I can to try and generate and stimulate intelligent conversations with a little bit of a giveaway because tomorrow is the third anniversary of this show. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right.